kill this lad when I make ten low kick. You think oh fuck a low kick him. And every time I low kick him, I have to. But in the moment you did, you got it. It's the 1990s, and a young fighter in his 20s, known as the Dutch Lumberjack, is destroying the best kickboxers in the world with devastating high kicks. Fast forward to the 2010s, and that same fighter, now in his 40s, is still destroying the best kickboxers in the world with devastating high kicks. That fighter is Peter Arts, and for three decades, he was nearly unstoppable. In a sport called kickboxing, Peter Arts' kicking ability separated itself from the rest. During his career, he picked up over 80 knockouts, and many of them came through his trademark high kick. Opponents knew it was coming, but still fell victim to it time after time. So what made Arts' kicking game so dangerous? Well, for starters, Arts wasn't just a kicking specialist. He had serious boxing skills as well, with a potent jab and excellent counter-striking. Opponents would try to shut down Art's kicks by pressuring him, but Arts would utilize his boxing to prevent opponents from closing the distance. This allowed Arts to dictate the pace of the fight and control where the striking exchanges took place, which was effectively a death sentence. He could overwhelm opponents, pressuring them with his boxing combinations. As the opponents exited out of boxing range, Arts would catch them off guard by throwing his high kicks behind the combinations. He could condition his opponents to drop their hands by attacking their legs or body throughout the fight. With their hands low, Arts would capitalize on wide open opportunities to attack up high. By mastering the fundamentals of the sport, his advanced techniques were even more devastating. Arts' elite skill sets, along with the tireless work ethic, allowed him to remain at the top of the sports for over 20 years. During his 20s, he won three K1 World Grand Prix. During his 30s, he made it to the finals twice and found success against the next generation of fighters. During his 40s, he made it to another K1 World Grand Prix final and defeated opponents as much as 20 years younger than him. Whether or not Peter Arts is the kickboxing GOAT is up for debate. But one thing is for sure, no fighter has ever been that good for that long.